Sightseers in Sonoy got more than they bargained for from a flasher who police say exposed himself to women on the city's main street. Now, the Coweta County town is typically crowded with fans of the hit cable show The Walking Dead since that's where that show is filmed. And because of that, Sonoy has a great security camera system, which investigators say helped them to identify and arrest the accused serial flasher. Now, Fox 5's Doug Evans is live in Sonoy tonight. And Doug, police say the guy made a number of mistakes that helped them identify him quickly. Well, listen, if you're going to commit a sex crime on one of Georgia's most popular main streets, perhaps you should pick a town that has fewer security cameras. Or perhaps you shouldn't have been in the town's small traffic court just a short time before. A traffic court filled with police officers who remember two things. One, that you were late, and two, that you were asleep on the front row. Here's surveillance video of a man police say they later identified as Adam Smith walking around Sonoy just after they say he had exposed himself to a woman in a store window, one of two victims. He was in a store getting a manicure and a pedicure and it happened, he walked by the window and exposed himself. Police say Adam Smith then quickly ran across the street to do the same to a woman heading to one of Sonoy's restaurants for lunch. The act is so subtle, police say Smith lifted up his sweatshirt to reveal that he was exposed below the waist. Sonoy is a popular family town. Fans of the Walking Dead flock here from all over the world. We have a lot of visitors that come in. It's very family oriented. This is not something that happens in our city. And this actually is someone who is not from here. And even though Smith is not from Sonoy, police immediately identified him. Turns out he had been in Sonoy traffic court that same morning. He'd been late and was asleep on the front row when Detective Worden herself woke him up. So I approached him and advised him, you can't sleep in court. As soon as Detective Worden watched the surveillance video, she says she remembered where she had seen him before. The court records had Adam Smith's name and address. And I was shocked when I looked at the video and I was like, this guy was in court just prior to him going on to Main Street. 